Uh, Liam says, how can Kant be the father of nihilism if he prescribed an objective moral code that must be universally accepted? What works of his actually promote nihilism? God, that's a big question that requires a, a lengthy answer. But the short thing is, his moral code is not objective. It's the opposite of objective. It's, intrins it's an intrinsicist moral code, and intrinsicism is always subjectivism. Because there is nothing intrinsic, so it turns into subjective. Uh, there's nothing objective about his moral code. It's a it's a moral code of of dogma and and duties, which are imposed on you by somehow categorical imperatives that are intrinsic in you, but nobody can find them. Nobody knows them, right? So they're, they're just somehow there. So uh, it, it, Kant's whole morality is intrinsicist and therefore ultimately subjectivist and therefore all of the uh, moral codes and ideologies that have come after him whether they go the intrinsicist route or the subjectivist route he is the father of them so nihilism is just one of the routes that um uh, you know Kant Kant doesn't advocate for nihilism he's not a nihilist in that sense he is the father of nihilism in the sense that his, idea, his ideas necessitate nihilism as the outcome. That is, nihilism is ultimately a consistent application of Kantian ideas, even if he couldn't recognize them. And that, that is, those ideas are basically a, 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 a separation of reason from reality. Um, a uh, the, the, the the turning morality or, or turning morality away from reality, you know, uh, Locke at, at the very least Locke is trying to establish morality on the basis of nature. Well, we have no nature. Kant takes nature away, so you you have to establish morality based on some categorical imperative, something random, something subjective in the end, some something completely subjective and subjectivism. Uh, together with lack no reason, because if you take away the connection between the mind and reality, what are you left with? You're left with emotions, you're left with whims. Um, so and, and what does whim worship lead to? Nihilism, necessity of nihilism. So nihilism is the end of Kantian philosophy. It's not the thing Kantian philosophy advocates for, it's the consequence of it, even if Kant didn't realize it. That's the best short answer I can give. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support. I go to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution. Uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.